Okay, um, never done this before. Have a feeling that I should be talking in an American accent. Uh, here we have a, uh, a Honeywell HR80 UK uh, unit, um, and I've had lots of these E3 errors. I don't know whether you can see that, it might be a little bit too dim. Uh, but uh, these E3 errors uh, tend to uh, come up rather a lot. I've had this is my tenth one, and I thought I'd have a look uh, um, on the internet to see uh, whether there's anything I could do about it, rather than having an installer come out and reprogram my system all the time. I've had this system now eight months. Uh, I think it's a Evo Home is a great product, but this uh, this is the bane of my life because uh, it's. Uh, cold here in the UK over winter and you don't want your kids being without uh, rooms that you can't really heat so uh, this fix just worked for one of them I'm going to try and see whether it works for this one so here we go uh, I'm going to take the uh, batteries out first as you can see they're the standard issue batteries I'm going to take the cap off and I'm going to get a screwdriver in here and gently give it a bit of a wiggle around and that pops this off which shows the inside like so and then what you can do is take a normal one battery with a, a bird wire like, like so and put the other one on here like so so you have a battery and two ends and then if you touch both ends of the motor which is there and there there and there uh, you may or may not hear the motor work depending on whether it genuinely broke or if it's stuck so I'm going to try and hold this, which is actually difficult to do, it's a little bit fiddly. Um, this one here, and I'm going to try and get these wires on long enough on the terminal. Come on, come on. There we go. Very, very fiddly to do. But I believe it just needs pretty much a touch. Which is what I've done there. Uh, I'm going to try it a couple of ways round with the positive and the negative just to make sure I am going to uh, catch it. Uh, this is uh, got less showing burrs on the uh, on the cable so this is a little bit more difficult to uh, get to touch. I can't hear anything going on with, uh, with the unit itself at the moment so I'll have a go and see. Uh, so they're obviously short straight across without using any of the circuit board uh, so I assume there's something that you're bypassing once the three errors hit the uh, Let's hit the circuit board, whether it saves it, I don't know. Uh, let's get the batteries in the right way around. And I'm going to leave that off for the time being on the back. Uh, in fact, I can't. Well, I can. And then I'm going to... I'm going to try moving it and seeing whether it kicks in. So if I switch it all the way to uh, off... I'm getting a sinking at the moment.
taken rather longer than I thought to do this at the moment. Let me see if I can avoid that. I have a feeling it won't sink until I have the header on. My mistake. that's now running so I don't know what it is I don't know the theory behind it but if you have one of these controllers and you get an E3 error that's what you do uh, what I'm going to do just for safety is take the batteries back out again you can still hear it I'm going to take the batteries out so I can uh, reclip the uh, unit back together uh, which goes in top first and then clicks in place in fact it doesn't it goes in bottom first it goes in bottom first I beg your pardon put this back together and we should have a unit without an E3 error Thank you. Hope it uh, hope it helps all you people out there. As I say, I've uh, I've had ten units replaced out of uh, an eighteen unit system using all eight zones, where the slave or masters. I'm getting E3 errors once every three weeks, I guess, in in eight months. Uh, so as I say, I, uh, I I really do hope that uh, that this helps in uh, some small way. Thank you.